an iconic 1972 painting by British artist David Hockney soared to $90.3 million at Christie's on Thursday, smashing the record for the highest price ever paid at auction for a work by a living artist. With Christie's commission, Portrait of an Artist, who with two figures, surpassed the auction house's pre-sale estimate of about $80 million, following a bidding war between two determined would-be buyers once the work hit $70 million. The previous record for a work by a living artist was held by Jeff Koons' sculpture Balloon Dog, which sold for $58. Four million in 2013. Hockney's previous auction record was $28.4 million. The 1972 work by the 81-year-old British artist, one of Hockney's most famous paintings which depicts a man in a pink jacket looking down on another figure swimming underwater in a pool, was reported to have been consigned by British billionaire currency trader Joe Lewis. The image is said to be inspired by a property set among what was originally stone cottages on a dirt track, La Nid du Duc, in Provence. Judy Dench, Jack Nicholson, director Tony Richardson and his then-wife Vanessa Redgrave were said to have spent summers there. Share this article Share Hockney spent the warmer months of 1969 there with his lover and muse, the artist and photographer Peter Schlesinger. La Nid du Duc, the nest of the night owl, made a lasting impression on the Bradford-born man. The villa and its pool became the backdrop for several of his great works over the next two years. One was of a figure swimming underwater, and therefore quite distorted. Dot, dot, dot. The other was a boy gazing at something on the ground, he once explained. The idea of painting two figures in different styles appealed so much that I began immediately. It did not begin auspiciously. After six months of working and reworking, Hockney ripped it up only to return to it in the run-up to a New York exhibition in 1972. Critics were entranced, and the following year he sold it for pounds $25,585 to a man who heard from someone who spotted it in his studio and asked to buy it. Six months later, it was sold again for $63,960. Christie's did not identify the seller or the successful bidder, who was bidding via telephone. The work went far towards boosting the success of Christie's post war and contemporary art auction, which took in a total of $357. Six million with 41 of the 48 lots on offer finding buyers. Other highlights included Francis Bacon's study of Henrietta Mori's Laughing, which sold for $21. 7 million against a pre sale estimate of $14 million to $18 million, and Alexander Calder's 21 Fuels Blanches, which more than doubled its high estimate, selling for just under $18 million.